guys, it's me, Dominique. I'm coming at you guys with a new video. Uh, first things first, this has nothing to do with the video, but I'm truly hating my, my hair today. I've neglected it the whole week, and I tried to revive it today, and it's just not working, so I somewhat have it pinned back. I've been neglecting it because of my new workout regimen, which I will share with you guys in another video, not this one. But, yeah, I just want, that was my little quick side note. Now, on to the original video. This video is going to be a video, video response a tag to um, song, Songbird Diva for Life's Heart to Heart tag. Um, sorry for saying um so much. Yeah, I'm going to do my response to it, but... Another YouTuber did a response to this to this original tag as well, and I want you guys to check out her video. The link is going to be in the description box below. Her name is Silent Chick on here, and I really want you guys to go ahead and click and check out her video in response to this tag. Let's get started. First question is, have you ever been in an abusive relationship? Now, I would never say I've been in uh, a traditional abusive relationship where I was being verbally or physically abused but I did consider myself being in a financially abusive relationship um, at the time I was about 16 17 yeah I was really really young um, I moved out and I was with this guy he was older than me by like I would say seven years uh, we were together for quite a while. He was like, you know, a really good guy at first. Um, and he just, like, he was taking care of me. Now, the reason I considered myself to be financially abused, abused, because I kind of felt like I didn't have anywhere else to go. Because, I, you know, I had moved out of my mom's house and me and my mom's relationship wasn't the best. And I felt like I kind of didn't have anybody else to go to. And I felt like this man loved me and he gave me the world and he took care of me. But the reason I started to feel abused in a relationship because it got to a point where he became so obsessed with me that he would do crazy things. Like, I would leave and go hang out with my friends and he would just pop up at the places where I'm at. And I don't know how he would even know. He would follow me around. I guess that's how he knew because he followed me around. But one time, I caught him following me around. I was actually driving my friend's car. And one of my friends was like, isn't that such and such behind us? And I was like, no, it can't be. He's supposed to be at work. And I looked behind. And, like, it's, it was crazy. It was like a scene out of a movie because like, I'm hitting corners. And I'm driving all crazy. And I'm driving, like, all these different, down these different streets. And he's, like, trying to keep up with me. And I'm like... Why? Why is he following me? And it got to the point where, like, I was I was really unhappy and I wanted to leave the relationship, but I was scared of what he would do to me and what he would do to himself because he would even go through instances where I would leave and, you know, go to a friend's house and be like, I'm spending the night because I don't want to be here. And he'd be like, why, why are you doing this to me? And he'd be like, oh, I just can't live without you. I don't want to live. And he would just... And I was just so afraid to leave the relationship because I was like, if I leave him, is he going to kill me? Or if I leave him, is he going to kill himself? Like, I was, but that's, I, that's how I kind of felt like the, the relationship was kind of abusive because he kind of controlled the situation because he was financially doing everything and then he became obsessive and he scared me in that sense. Um, were you afraid to leave and tell someone? Yes, like I said, I was afraid to leave because I was unsure of what would happen if I left. And I didn't want to really tell anyone because everyone looked at him as like such a great guy. And I was so lucky because he was taking care of me. And I didn't want people, I kind of felt bad because I didn't want people to know what was going on. Because I didn't want people to see him as less of who he was. Um, how did you end a relationship? Well, I ended up moving back home with my mom. And I gradually got away from him when I moved back home with my mom because I wasn't in the same home with him anymore. So it was easier for me to drift away. And it was like he had less access to me. He had less of this financial hold on me because 
he wasn't paying for a roof over my head and everything else. Um, what finally made me in a relationship? When I started to... I, I ended a relationship once I'm, you know, I started to feel like it was easy for me to end a relationship once I moved back to my mom's house. And just like the more and more he did certain things, the more and more I tried to pull away, he tried to hold on to me. And then I, at a point, like, it went from me having love for him to being disgusted by him and just not caring anymore at the outcome of what might, may happen if I didn't want to be with him. Uh, have you ever been cheated on? Yes, I've been cheated on. Um, I've probably been cheating on unknowingly, and in past relationships, I've been cheating on, cheated on knowingly, but with the cheating, the cheating situation that affected me greatly was a, a cheating situation in an infidelity situation in this current relationship that I'm in now with my hubby. It was a couple of years back. Um, I actually did another video on this. If you want like the whole full out story, I'll try to remember to put an end notation here. So you can go ahead and check out that video. And, or one in the description box. Um, the next question is, if so, did you decide to stay in a relationship? Yes, I did. I'm here. The full story is in the other video. <laughs> Do you have low self-esteem? Now, I don't have low self-esteem now in my life. But a couple of years back, when this whole infidelity thing like, started a little bit around the time after I had my son, a little bit after I had my son, I did consider myself having very low self-esteem. Um... I felt like I was totally broken and I just didn't know like I started to doubt everything about me I started to doubt the way I look because I prior to all of this I had like such a great confidence and I thought I was just so the ish and then once this happened I started to second guess everything about me like I started to guess okay do I have a good personality I started to guess my intelligence am I not good enough what made this happen but now at this point, like, I've regained my confidence back. Um, and I think that happened to break me so I could rebuild and to humble me in a sense. Do you have trust issues? I do not have trust issues now. People would probably be like, oh, she's lying. But honestly, I don't. A couple of years, the trust issues were very prevalent in the last couple of years. Uh... It was really bad, but I can say now, at this present moment, I do not have trust issues. Um, how soon before you ended the relationship or before you decided to move on? Um, obviously, the relationship isn't ending. There was a couple of times where I was like, you know what? I, I just was like, is this really for me? Should I really... And there was a couple of instances where I kind of felt myself moving away and pulling away from the situation because I was just so unsure of things. So I can't really answer that question per se, like what a concrete answer. Um, are you in a new healthy relationship? Yes, our relationship is so much healthier now. It's like so different. Anybody who knows me, anybody who's close to me, they'll even say like, He's a totally different person. I'm a totally different person in our relationship. Like, sometimes, like, people will come to us and ask us questions and wonder, like, I guess, how our relationship got to the way it was. And I'll tell people, like, it's, it hasn't always been this way. Trust me, like, it has not always been this way. Um, in your current relationship, how do you know that this person was different and that you can trust them after experiencing a bad relationship? Now... I know he was different from the other guy because he was nothing like him. Like, he was totally different. But in a sense, they have a lot of the same personality traits. I mean, I don't really, like, full force wholeheartedly believe in the whole Zodiac thing. But being that they're both Scorpios, they, did, they do have a lot of the same personality traits and a lot of the same ways. That it was so funny that a lot of the stuff that I liked in the other guy, he does. 
So it's a good thing. But a lot of stuff that the guy and the other guy that I didn't like, he doesn't do. So, um, I knew he was where I wanted to be because from like from the beginning, I always, you know, I always was in love with my hubby. I always loved him, but and I always knew it was more than what the situation was. So I just kept pushing, and I just realized that. This relationship was more than what it was. And my spiritual growth, my relationship with God, helped me realize, you know, this is where I, this is where it is for me. I'm happy. God has a purpose for us to be together, a greater purpose and purpose in the instance that, you know, we love each other. Of course, we love each other. We have a child together. But I believe, like, God has a greater purpose for us being together. And... Yeah, that's what got me through a lot of stuff in the past, and I guess that kind of answers the relationship. I mean, that answers the question. Um, that's pretty much for the tag. And if you guys have any comments or anything, go ahead and ask below. Go ahead and check out the other video that I was talking about. I'm gonna put the annotation here. I'll try to remember if it's not in this video please look in the description box and also check out silent chicks video response to this because i found her very interesting and insightful so please check it out guys i will leave the link for that in the um, description box below too until next video i'm out